you know, when, when you go through something like this, you um, have to answer a lot of questions. You do, as the victim. Um, because your family wants answers, your friends want answers, your community wants answers. And to answer that, of course, you need to know who you are, where did you come from, how did you get there, how do you feel about it, and it's a validation of yourself. I felt like, at that time, um, impelled, compelled to put together an understanding of it, some workshops, some information. I read a lot about uh, abuse so I could understand and validate myself because I didn't find that there was anyone in my circle who could do that for me. So I became the one who had to validate myself and in that you, you gain knowledge and you gain perspective and I didn't want to own it. I didn't want it to be my fault and I had to make sure I understood that and to, and to, to know that means you have to read up on it. So I think what makes me different is that um, I, I now feel like I have a responsibility to tell my story. It is my responsibility to tell you what happened. This affects my community. The Dalai Lama says, like, when something happens in the distant, right? I mean, it affects us here. If we believe, indeed, that we are one body, what happens to me happens to you. And what happens to me happens to my daughter. And as, a, and as a little girl, and as an infant, and as a toddler, and as a teenager, it is my responsibility to tell everyone about it, including her. started out with money and now have none. And I have clients who started out with no money and now have none. 